Hey everyone, this is Chad with Good Cribs Tutorial. Today I want to go over the eyedropper tool as well as the color sampler tool. So the eyedropper tool is effective when you're creating a design like a brochure or a website or some kind of advertisement or new media, um, even like an app design, and you're creating an image for it and you want to pull a hue, a color, out of a photo and maybe use it for some text or for some shapes in conjunction with the photo. Um, so what you want to do is go ahead and open up a photo and uh, click on the eyedropper tool or you can press I on the keyboard as you can see there the shortcut. And if you have the foreground color selected here on top and if you just left click anywhere it will change the foreground color to that color, right? So if I select the background color and click that, and then I can just hover anywhere, say get the blue out of there, and click OK, then that changes the background color to uh, whatever I was clicking on. Now a shortcut though to know is that by default, of course, uh, if I click anywhere, it will change the foreground color, but if you hold Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, then it will actually change the background color. So if you just click somewhere, that's the foreground color. Alt or Option click somewhere, that will change the background color pretty quickly. Uh, and you can see both of them changed right there. Now when you're sampling, by default, if you look up at the top, you'll see point sample. What that means is wherever you're clicking, that specific one pixel is what you're uh, sampling. All right. If you want, if you have an area that you just want kind of an average of an area, you can choose some of those other ones: three by three, five by five, eleven by eleven, all the way up to one hundred one by one hundred one average. What that will do is it will average out all the hues in that area, all the colors, and just get an average of it and set the foreground or the background color to that uh, color. All right. And of course, you can click on any of these and you can add it to a swatch if you want to use it later or you can write down the RGB levels, the red, green, blue, or the CMYK uh, to use them in some kind of color scheme. All right. Now you can also, another option to be familiar with is the sample. Uh, by default usually you have it just set to current layer but you can also sample from the current layer and below or all layers, um, all layers with no adjustments added or the current one and below with no adjustments to the, any of the below layers. Uh, I just have one layer right here by default because it's just a JPEG photo. Um, so that's not as relevant, but it's something to be familiar with. And another thing to be familiar with is where it says show sampling ring. Uh, if I click and drag around here, you'll notice that top area is the new color the foreground color will be sl uh, set to. And then the bottom curve, kind of the U shape, is the current sample. All right, So that would be slightly different or that would be very different just depending on where uh, we end up clicking. All right. Now when you're sampling with the eyedropper tool, if you hold on to shift, it turns it into this other tool which is the, or you can just select it here, the color sampler tool. All right, so what that does, the color sample tool, it's a little bit different. If you just click, 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 and click, you can do up to four samples. What that does is it pulls out the info tab here, and we have number one, number two, number three, number four. Wherever that area, the, the pixel right below it, uh, that's the RGB levels for those areas, all right? And we can move, uh, if this was a normal layer, I can move it around and it actually changes, you can see there, uh, the levels because now it's on top of a different pixel. Alright, in order to move those around, if you hover right over it, turns into that new symbol there, you can move them around. Alright, and if you hold down Alt and just hover right over it, turns into that scissor symbol, then that would delete them. Uh, and then you can click and drag new ones out because it, it will only allow four uh, color samples at the same time. If you have the eyedropper tool selected, then you can't uh, really, you know, select them until you hold down Control or Command. Then you can move them around. So that's the color sampler tool as well as the eyedropper tool. It can be pretty effective when you want to uh, just use a, 
uh, color that's in a photo and some kind of design. Be sure to subscribe for more Photoshop tutorials. Mm -hmm.